Hi guys and welcome, welcome to Let's Talk Ships and there's a lot of things I'd like to discuss with you but overall I did play a lot of battles in uh, PTS and I kind of uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. Next patch will come next, uh, next week and 0 0.8 is here and I also say together with this uh, patch the new kings, the new rise of cruiser are definitely here. Now, I'm not saying that if you, my dear subscriber, have FUSO or uh, have uh, other battleships like Tier 5 or, you know, Congo, you will do fine, even though, I mean, Congo is not any extremely good AA uh, battleship. But what I'm trying to say, guys, and this is the most important information to you guys, do not be f uh, scared because... A tier 4 and a tier 6 carrier even though it hits you 10 times it will not flood you not once all those 10 torps it may takes maybe 14 15 torpedo hits and cause one flood and uh, honestly it, um, let me put it this way if a Langley trying to torp you the entire game my night take you down after 20 freaking minutes it is so potent bad with only one torpedo drop sure it's different story when they go for rockets rockets if they got lucky they can definitely put you on fire but don't don't use your damage count in one fire um i would like to say the most scariest attack you can receive it's actually from japanese tier 6 and tier 8 um AP bombs then that they can sit in the, the crap out of you and I like to say if the carriers uh, are know exactly how to aim and how to uh, engage uh, the enemy target yes you will eat damage like there's no one's business but the thing is this guys overall you kind of need to stick together overall uh, a CV will do less damage each and every attack um, so you'll be fine the biggest threat it's for tier 8 premium ship like Kaga Seipen and especially Grab Zeppeli they'll murder you no matter what kind of ship you are especially if you're a battleship and of course tier 10 the tier 10 will always have a way to attack you and harm you bad but for the rest of uh, lower line, like tier uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, besides those premium carriers, you'll do be fine. For the destroyer guy, it's very simple. I would like to say the end of Kamikaze and all others are kind of uh, brutal. I'll explain you why. Not that Kamikaze is any bad or any other Japanese. Imagine that this is Shima or any other uh, Japanese uh, torpedo boat. The plane from tier 4 to tier 10, they are so broken fast, it's easy to spot uh, a ship. And I'm not saying that the CV will first target you, because probably they go uh, try to strike enemy uh, battleship. But you might be spotted a whole lot faster, especially if there are two battleship or two CV in each and every game. So it will be so damn hard because to be honest, man, this is the most important. It's not the CV gonna kill you, Shimakaze. It's not the uh, uh, CV who gonna kill you, uh, Kamikaze R. It's actually the cruisers. The cruiser have easy way to uh, spot you. And I would like to say the rise of cruiser are very soon in just days from now. Let's put him in this way, this Miyoko. Miyoko does not have extremely, well, A, but it does have, let's go to module, it does have the um, uh, catapult fighter and A defense. Those two combines makes the Miyoko a god at tier 7. When um, tier 6 carrier from US, from Japan, it does not matter. Come even near, I repeat, come even near this cruiser, you know, they will um, lose the plane like flies. <laughs> now, I would like to say if um, two Atlanta with a Miyoko going in division together, 
you will have uh, probably 100 planes down in the entire game I do believe so all three cruisers that were like to say uh, in the next patch the Miyoku will not be a mech cruiser or Atlanta a mech uh, uh, cruiser they will be gods what I'm trying to say there's no flying zone and guys same thing goes if you're a tier 8 cruiser a carrier and you strike a tier 9 and tier 10 US or um, shall I say uh, British or uh, German cruiser you can just forget it you cannot even touch them they are so extremely extremely powerful and I would like to say guys that in my honestly opinion uh, let's go to test 3 and let's go to the most overpower AA um, uh, fleet monster from UK the Minotaur the Minotaur it does not have it will not have the same AA power like today's server it will have twice as good and she's kind of easy to play because she does not have AA defense all you need to do is press O and select the target and the planes will fall down like there's no one's business she is absolutely broken OP uh, if you spec her and if you have a 19 points captain if you have a bad captain then it's a different story but what I'm trying to say guys and this is very important she will lose some uh, concealment to 9.1 versus 8.9 in today's live version because all cruisers lose 2% but 9.1 it's not bad and something else guys um, she will have a lot of stuff to do take down the uh, the uh, destroyers kill the destroyers and kill the planes and shall I say overall guys the most busy to do will have the cruiser the cruisers guys will be one pain in the ass to deal with if you are a CV captain because let's face it if you face a minotaur or let's say a conquer which does not have any fighter plane of course you go for a conquer before you go in, uh, and try to strike a minotaur that's obvious and some um, some CV they do have uh, should I say couple um, seconds to regenerate each and every uh, plane so if they lose a whole squad you cannot just take another squad and you know lose there again because then ha they have to play with uh, maybe dive bombers or some other uh, planes types uh, so overall guys I would like to say that Atlanta, Miyoko, uh, I don't know uh, all the extremely good AA cruises like Hindenburg, Rune will have the time of their life and you my dear battleship you have to stick with your fleet and especially the cruisers I mean let's say uh, let me put in a very easy uh, example if you my dear Fuso captain see a Miyoko stick stick to Miyoko you know a tier 6 um, uh, carrier if you're going for a Miyoko or another combined maybe uh, another cruiser nearby they will lose all the planes every single one of them so you're gonna be a uh, face you Fuso captain protect the uh, uh, cruiser the cruiser will protect you from the AA and for the destroyers I don't know what to say honestly god guys I I do not know what to say um, the CV have extremely easy to aim and hit you every single time they will not kill you one drop but they will definitely uh, spot you and harm you every single time so I have uh, the Japanese the Japanese uh, destroyer in my honestly opinion will take the biggest hit together with huge large battleship like Yamato Musashi Kurfürst I have uh, no idea why you want to take them down uh, up in the next patch because uh, the gameplay will be so damn different especially from you in NA server it's rough guy but this is my honestly opinion and in the next video guys I will talk about the uh, oncoming British carriers what the gimmick what the special and also the um, the Soviet battleship line thanks guys for watching and always captains fair seas and goodbye